wearing trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance Hi everybody, <laughs> I know it has been a while, um, I hope you guys are doing well, I am in my, yeah, don't mind my room, um, so I'm in my cleaning mode Duke, right now this morning, um, I woke up this morning decreeing and declaring that it is well with me and that i prosper in all areas of my life and i increase and in, in wisdom and in favor man i just really spoke life into my day and just really the rest of my life and the children's lives and everything that concerns me and god is so good so um if you guys have watched this video of mine which i will link to this video in may this year i bought by faith i bought quarter three quarter duvet covers times two for my daughters who have not been here um, with me due to a certain reason that I cannot disclose and I will never disclose here on the internet but they've not been with me but they will be with me very soon and God is so good so by the time this video is up these girls would have been here so by faith I got three quarter duvet covers I didn't have beds that actually catered for those duvet covers there was there was a um a double bed in their room um which they shared um and i just i really it just did i didn't like the way the room looks because it was a kiddie's room um one thing about me is i use what is in my hands and i use what i have as you can see these are the initials on their bedroom um so yeah so i trusted i bought those duvet covers from h&m and I really trusted God that he was going to give me the funds to actually get them beds. Okay, so um, there's a lady from church who is moving with her family. And I didn't actually know she was moving. I was having a conversation with someone and that's how I got to find out. And so my initial call to her was, hey, I heard you're moving. Oh my God, what not? And then later on, I don't know. I was just like, what are the odd chances, right? So in the conversation, I just like, oh, by, by any chance selling... Um, you know like two single beds maybe and she's like actually i am but then they were already they are already chosen by someone i was like no no and she's like yeah i'm sorry i'm loyal like that you know if someone secures them i call i'm like all right no problem so after the call i prayed i spoke to god and i said god if those beds are meant for me i'm not gonna give up you know at the fact that she said oh the beds are taken if they are meant for me i pray god for a release and I kid you not, the following day, she, I, I contacted her and I said, oh, has the lady, cause she said, okay, I'm going to talk to her and just still confirm. But I, 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 I know for sure that, um, she, sorry, I was reading messages that were coming in. Come and see provision. Oh. <laughs> so, um, and then she's like, she, the previous day when we spoke, she did mention that she was going to confirm with the lady and so i i i i got so the following day i then texted her oh did you confirm with the lady she's still taking the beds and she's like yeah she i did confirm with her unfortunately she's taking the beds and i was like all right cool no problem i saw later on like i think an hour later she texts me and she says you know what is that the, i think you can actually have the beds this lady does not sound like she's serious or she's up for it and i was like ah god is see god so i was selling the double bed in their room that i did not like in there because it just looked too grown up -y. like I, I wanted to i had a vision for my daughter in fact i had a vision for my entire house i wanted to turn this house into a home and uh, for the girls and i and um yeah so um so immediately when i sold that bed the money that came from that bed i sent it to her okay i was not even playing those jokes and today the beds are here okay the beds i, I didn't get the beds immediately because they were not moving then and, and and her boys still needed to use the bed plus my girls were not here so i was just like no problem and yeah here are the beds i am so happy god is so good yeah so what i'm gonna do is i want to get shorter curtains that will be this length here because i don't like how people put beds against walls and the curtain will be like draping and then you know the pillows it, it, it will put pressure on the curtains um and yeah 
I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these curtains, but I'm probably gonna like do some, I don't know, I, I don't know, but yeah. So I'm gonna put their room together and you guys are gonna come along with me. And if you guys also remember, I created this with my own hands because I did not have a proper TV stand. And then, so yeah, so I was like, I didn't like the, I was proud of myself, but in the long run, I didn't like the way this was looking in the living room. It wasn't just looking good. Um, one thing about me is I like to use what is in my hands. I don't like to wait um, to like in order for me to enjoy something or to kind of just bring something to life. I like to like, you know, if that makes sense. I like to use what is in my hands and just make do with what, what I have while trusting God to have the initial the actual thing you know so um i then removed i then took this to the girl's room before i got that because i was trusting god for for that i was trusting god for the tv unit um the tv stand and i left that place bare and open and i told god god I, so each time i looked at it i was like god i don't like the way that place looks so i'm trusting you and god made provision and i got that tv stand at a very good price so and i got a very and now like i got a very good use out of this thing so these are i was sorting out the girls toys and these are this used to be laundry baskets so i did divide i threw away some of the toys and some of the stuff that i know they will not use because the girls are now really grown so um i got these baskets i had them in the house i think i have five of them so i did divide their toys in there and in their room i'm gonna put them up here and i'm i think and i'm gonna put their shoes down there and also up here i'm gonna put the baskets up here and i'm gonna put their shoes there doesn't really matter all i do know is that i really found good use for the uh um for, for that thing sorry for that thing so god is so good and she is so sweet because she actually blessed me with two duvet covers for the girls i had already bought them one but and then she also you know put in two pillowcases for the girls and she also gave me like inners and she just said i should wash them god is so good in us for their duvet covers man when you when you decree and declare and yes when you decree and declare good things and whatever it is that you want to see putting god at the center of your face nothing can go wrong and yesterday in church man the decrees and declarations that were made were just so powerful and because of the place that i'm in like i'm in a place where i told god i want overflow increase in my business and just in my life in wisdom in all areas of my life i want i want all areas of my life to reflect the nature of god and i was not joking about receiving those declarations at church it was just amazing and today i am living in those declarations and i believe that this is just the beginning so if you're trusting god for anything a husband a house a car a license this year i trusted god for a tv i mean well, a license for a driver's license i got it i trusted god for a laptop i got it i trusted god for two cotter bits um cotter bits for the girls i got it i trusted god for a couch I got it. I trusted God to have paintings on my wall. I got it. All this were written down in a budget, um, in my faith budget. And God, and I told God, I said, God, I don't want to, like, I just want to be a good steward with my money. Have you ever been in a place where you're trusting God for, and then like when the year ends, you're like, wait, I had this money. I actually had the capacity to get these things, but what happened? You just do not know what happened to the money that you had. Uh, it's either when the money came in, you know, you kind of forget the goals and the stuff that you would have wanted to get with that money. So I'm just so grateful to God that this year is ending off well. And when the girls come, they're going to come. Of course, I'm not going to, I'm going to send them pictures because yeah, I'm a party keeper like that. Party spoiler, surprise spoiler like that. So yeah, so I'm going to put your room together and you guys are going to come along with me. I'm going to put you guys on speed on speed mode okay i don't know why i can't speak this morning so i'm just gonna be wiping off the the beds and um yeah god is so good all right so we are the beds yeah, very much in good condition so what i was saying about the curtain is that they'll have to be shorter 
I don't like the idea of oh, these girls though. Look at that. I don't like the idea of curtains being behind the beds. Um, if there is no like headboard, it's, it puts pressure on the curtains. So I'm gonna get shorter curtains that just drape till there. But now, so now I'm gonna decorate um, eventually because I didn't want to get wall art while I don't, I didn't have like a proper, you know what? I, I just don't know why these people put this kind of wall. Like these are, this is all chalk and I tried cleaning it up and I just didn't get it right, but look at that. Anyway, I really tried cleaning this place, but it, it wasn't just, it wasn't just cleaning, it wasn't just getting clean. So we just to have to make do. I'll probably put like, like characters and stuff just for it. Not completely, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a minimal person, but I'll try to like put, I wanna put picture frames um, of them. This is it. Here, the, this room is quite small. So I was actually even planning to get a lamp, uh, a side lamp, but it doesn't look like it's, I don't want, it's not gonna work. And this toy thing that I was talking about. So you see, so we, I was going to put these two baskets right in there, but ah, it's not gonna fit in here. It's not at all. Like that's the door. Not even if I wanted to put it behind the door. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna fit. I'll have to make, oh my word. I can't believe this. It's so small, this place. I, oh wow. Anyway, so I'm gonna style the, I'm gonna make up their beds now and we're gonna put the inners in the washing machine and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the after. Or at least I'm gonna, you guys are gonna go on a journey with me um, to see how it all turns out. Yeah, I also still need to get, uh, so, okay, it's a long story. So I got this curtain from Mr. Price, just this alone, this see-through one. And then they had an old curtain in their room, which I then took this, this off that curtain. And then I took it in for someone to like, you know, put this, yeah, on like the, this is actually custom made, kind of. And also to put that, that tape, that, um, thingy where you put the the rails or the whatever on yeah all of that i had to like do because the curtains were such it was such i got it at such a bargain price which was like 99 rand and i was just like listen we like good prices so yeah let me make up the bits.